Hey guys, this is Joe Manalone, and today we're going to look at Chocolatey. Chocolatey is a machine package manager, which means unlike uh, you know, like a Node package manager or something like that, it's it's more like apt-get. Uh, if you've ever used uh, Ubuntu, it installs packages or applications or tools uh, or even settings in some cases to our machine. Uh, so right off the bat, chocolatey.org. Uh, the one of the cool things immediately is how you install it so what you do is you copy this command right from their website and you load up your command prompt and you paste that right in hit enter and what that's going to do is go ahead and, and download the package and install it and it's also going to add it to our uh, environment variables uh, so while that's installing you can see on the website they have a uh, directory of all their packages and uh, it's initially sorted by the most popular and you can see they've got just about everything you're going to need to get started uh, with a brand new system like we've got right here so you know if you need Python if you need uh, a console replacement you need Node, VLC uh, the list goes on and on and on and on and the great thing is you're not actually only limited to the chocolatey repository uh, you can use Python, you can use Ruby Gems, you can use Microsoft's web platform installer uh, there's a bunch built right into it, uh, so let's see. So that's that's installed, and uh, just to just to get up and running here uh, to show you. Okay, so I do not have curl on this machine. This is a, a, a essentially a brand new machine. Uh, let me position this a little more. Uh, whoop. Okay, so curl is not recognized. Uh, so the way you do an installation from Chocolatey is Chocolatey install or uh, a shortcut for that is cinst so uh, and in a lot of cases you can just guess the package name so the the installation it's cinst and then the package name that you want to get uh, if you don't know the package name you can do a c list or chocolatey list and then pass in the uh, search parameter uh, so i'm going to go ahead and install curl here <clears throat> Excuse me, that's going to take just a moment. I might need to fast forward through this. Okay, so that actually took a long time because I'm working in a virtual machine here and it seems to be running really, really slowly. Uh, so a lot of times when you're installing something like that that's going to add a new environment variable, you might need to launch a new command prompt. Uh, but let's just see here. Okay, so I don't need to launch a new command prompt for curl. Uh, so let's just say curl tech us uh, google.com. And uh, whoops, let's say let's do www. But either way, you can see that we did get the, uh, the content back. So there's, you know, the Google page. Now let's say... Uh, with that, I want to pipe it to Python's JSON tool, and just so you know, I don't have Python installed on this machine, and right off the bat it says, boom, you don't have Python. Uh, so what I could do is I could go out, I could get Python, I could install that, um, and what you end up running into is a situation where you've got to install all these different things. Now the great thing is you can write your own packages that are just a list of dependencies, where all they do is they go out and get other packages and uh, uh, so if I want to install Node.js right now um, I can go in here and I can find that uh, Node.js I want to say the best one is uh, Node.js install because it comes with the uh, Node package manager uh, but one that's really great and, and outside of just writing my own which we might do in a, a separate video is uh, install Yeoman and the reason it's really cool to go ahead and install Yeoman is because first off Yeoman is awesome uh, but what's awesome about it uh, this package what's awesome about this package is it has all these dependencies uh, so compass uh, has an additional dependency of Ruby so by installing this you're gonna get Ruby and compass you're gonna get git you're gonna get node.js uh, phantom.js and Python so what I'm gonna do is I am going to say cinst Yeoman and then uh, and then I'm gonna fast forward the heck out of this video because this is gonna install a ton of things. Okay, so we've got Yeoman installed, which in turn installed a lot of things. Um, and this took an extra long time in this virtual machine. Got some sort of network connectivity issue. 
but we've got Ruby, we've got Python, we've got uh, Bower, we've got uh, Node, we've got Node Package Manager, we've got just a ton of things. And so if I go back to my previous uh, command that would not work because I didn't have Python installed, so just to see uh, what this is going to do, I'm going to go ahead and use Squarespace because all their pages are available in JSON. Nope, format equals JSON. So this is going to get the JSON uh, rendering of the Squarespace homepage. And what it's going to do, it's going to pipe it to the Python's JSON tool, which is going to prettify. You know, it's gonna it's gonna make it look. Oh, Python's not. Uh, uh, so so what I need to do here is launch a new command prompt, and we'll just do the same thing. Curl tech s uh, format equals JSON. So there's so there's that, and obviously it's not good looking. Uh, so what we're going to do is, again, pipe that to the JSON tool. And there we go. So we're using Python. We're using curl. Uh, we prettified the JSON. Uh, hopefully that's a really great introduction into uh, Chocolatey. And I think I'll follow up with some more tutorials on this.